What's good? Prince Sports here, man. I'm gonna holla at you guys about none other than Montrez Harrell for the Los Angeles Lakers, okay? He's doing a franchise under the bus. He's a disgruntled employee. He don't want to be on the Lakers. He actually regret playing for the Lakers. And he says the reason the Lakers benched him for the matchups is um, for matchups. That's why the, the Lakers are Organizations say they benched him for, which was for matchups, right? Because you know some matchups just don't suit him well. That's according to the Lakers franchise. But according to Montrez Harrell, Montrez Harrell says the Lakers benched him was just an excuse in the playoffs. Okay, so he claims that the Lakers are just doing him dirty because they wanted to give their minutes to Andre Drummond. They wanted to please Andre Drummond more, and. This is somewhat true because when Andre Drummond came to the Lakers, Montrez Harrell uh, managed did dip down, okay? But he's in his bag and he's in his feelings saying that, hey, you guys only benching me. I could play with the best of them. You guys only benching me because it's an excuse. The matchup thing is an excuse. And my, my thoughts is, man, um, does Montrez Harrell deserve more playing time? Yes. But you gotta play him at the right position, man. Whenever you put Montrez Harrell in the game and you got him playing against bigs, he shouldn't be out there on the floor playing at all then. You know, you should have this guy out there playing basketball if the matchup for an undersized 6'7 guy playing center. I know a lot of uh, positions in the league now is positionless and they got guys 6'5, 6'4 trying to go out there and play center and they, and they end up getting their ass beat by a true center or a guy that's actually bigger than him goes to show you that positions do matter in basketball sometimes. But here's the problem with all of this. Montrez Harold, you don't like it? Don't complain about it, dog. Go to the front office and tell the Lakers front office you don't want to have nothing to do with the Lakers um, franchise. Tell them you just want to be traded, okay? It's as simple as that. Don't make excuses, dog, to why you couldn't get playing time, all right? If you know that was the reason, and you think it wasn't excuse, that's normal because you do believe in your skills. But you know how to get out of a franchise. You see plenty of other players do it. If you're unhappy, you don't like your role on the Lakers, they can easily trade you. You can easily go somewhere where you probably be valued more. You have a history, a track record of being a team cancer. Now you're a team cancer to the Lakers. You was a stitch for the Los Angeles Clippers. They couldn't wait to get you out of there. None of the teammates liked you. This is after you made claims of trying to be the bad boy Detroit Pistons again. You're embarrassing yourself, dog. You blow. And now that you trying to cop a plea with the Los Angeles Lakers, they don't want you neither. Good riddance. All right, go and ask for a trade. Stop bitching and moaning about what you knew, um, what the Lakers did to you. If you don't like it, do something about it. We live in the era where players could go from team to team whenever they chose to. So why won't you just do what you gotta do to get up out of there? You got an agent, right? This is karma, and it come back to bite you. It got you. Got you in its clutches, and it won't let you go. <laughs> okay? So, it is what it is, brother. Maybe next time, you will actually try to be a better teammate and go out there and play basketball and earn your minutes like most players are supposed to do. Sports out. Peace.